Hey kids, today I'm speaking with Dr. Angela Dunn. She is the state epidemiologist here in Utah. And Dr. Dunn, thanks for coming to the Salt Lake Tribune Kids Club. Yeah, happy to be here. So you're a doctor, but you're a special kind of doctor. Can you explain what an epidemiologist does? Yeah, definitely. So yeah, I went to medical school, did residency, and now I'm in public health. And we do a lot of epidemiology here in public health. And what that means is we identify diseases in populations and figure out what's making them sick and then try to stop it. Okay, so the thing that's keeping you and your team really busy right now is something called the novel coronavirus. Uh, yep. What do we know about this disease and, and really how is it different from the flu or strep throat or other things that kids might get? Yeah, so coronavirus is a family of viruses and we typically see them every year in the winter and they cause things like the common cold. So if you've got a stuffy nose, maybe you have a little bit of cough or a sneeze, pretty much that's a coronavirus causing it. But what's special about this novel coronavirus is that it originated in animals and then it moved to humans. And so we have never seen it in humans before. So this is a specific strain of a coronavirus that we've never seen before. Um, and so now, as we know, it's going from person to person. So the virus is able to mutate or change. And so it became able to infect people. Um, and, and that's what's causing the pandemic. So one of the things that scientists are still trying to figure out is the contagion. It is pretty contagious. I'm talking to you from my dining room. You are in your office. Why is it a good idea for us not to be in the same room right now? Yeah, so novel coronavirus or COVID-19, which is the disease it causes, um, can be spread by droplets. So basically your spit. Whenever you cough or sneeze or talk, little droplets of spit go into the air, and if they land on someone and it gets into their eyes, nose, or mouth, it can make them sick as well. Um, and because we don't know a lot about this new virus, it's important to maintain distance so that we don't make other people sick. Hmm. Uh, you mentioned COVID-19. What exactly does COVID-19 stand for? So coronavirus disease, that's COVID, and then the 19 is because it was found or um, identified in 2019. Ah, very clever. Well, as you know, kids, a lot of kids are home doing homework at home instead of going to school. What else can kids do during this period to keep from spreading those nasty germs around? Yeah, so, you know, washing your hands really well um, is going to be very important to prevent kids from getting sick and spreading it to others. So doing, you know, singing happy birthday twice, washing your hands for 20 seconds regularly is really important using Kleenex or your sleeve every time you cough or sneeze, and just making sure that you're you know, keeping your nose clean and staying home if you do have any symptoms is really important. Do kids need to stay inside or can they go outside and play? Yeah, so for kids who are healthy and not feeling any symptoms, it's important that they get outside and, and they play and they have fun. Um, there's a lot of great things to do this time of year in Utah, so getting outside is important. Um, and they can certainly play with other friends in the neighborhood as long as they're not sick and they keep their friend group small. Um, that's really important to be able to survive this time when everybody's at home. Hmm. Uh, some of the things that we're hearing about coronavirus sound a little bit scary. What would you say to kids out there who may be a little bit nervous right now? Yeah, so this is a lot, a time filled with a lot of unknown, um, but kids should know that we as medical professionals in public health are working really hard to contain this and they can do their part by washing their hands regularly, obeying their moms and dads out there, playing outside when they're feeling okay, but if they're feeling sick, staying at home um, and we'll all get through this together. All right, Dr. Dunn, thanks so much for the great info. Take care. Yeah, thank you so much. Stay safe out there.